Okay, maybe you already know that AirOS based on Android 13 is already released. I made a video on the first impressions, first look, and before that thing, the no major customizations were there in that custom room. But right now, while making this video, this AirOS custom room, this update with September security patch, or maybe they are giving almost every day new update. In this update, we have some few of the customizations, some few of the new things which have been added in this version. So let's just talk about all those things one by one in brief let me show you as yes, we are talking about version android 13 here android 13 is still in initial stage so yes if you are not expecting the same thing which you were having in android 12 don't worry it will take some time but yes android 13 will be stable very very soon for now if we move on to the default launcher as far as i know in the previous version when i made a video on arrows version 13 the default launcher was not like that we have arrows launcher which includes all apps themed icons and we have google feed option double tap gesture option has been added here too and icon labels on desktop too including all these things which have been added in the default launcher the launcher seems to be quite good this is called arrows launcher and if we move on to the quick settings panel um kind of disappointment i think so because even if you use a light mode dark mode doesn't matter the quick setting panel seems to be dark it's all about user's own choice own preference i prefer the light mode while using light mode while using light mode in my device i want light quick settings panel but yes as i just mentioned it is just my opinion so your opinion might be different in this case you can see this including the things which have been added in the quick settings panel it also includes some system navigation options for you for example invert navigation bar layout if you want to use a three button navigation and including that of course hold home for assistant which is already added by google but in gesture navigation sensitivity you have the option to disable the gesture bar this is really good and including that including that let me show you one more thing here if you move on to this option you can see the space below keyboard is also not there yes you have the option to disable this thing this is really good you don't need to root your device or want to install any module to disable that if you are one of the users who need this thing this feature is finally included in this ROS latest version so in my opinion this is something really good including that if you move on to this other gestures options of course swipe to screenshot advance restart as expectedly quickly open camera all these options which you were looking for are already present this is based on aosp so if you use the vanilla build if you want to use the vanilla build you can use that too it's up to you if i move on to the sound and vibration settings here let me show you one more thing in vibration and haptics you have the option for in call vibration which means if you want to enable this option you can my personal opinion this option is quite useful i always use this feature whenever i use any custom room so for me this feature is super good for you it might be useful it might not be available as an option if you want to enable this you can if you don't want to you can simply skip this thing or you can simply ignore this thing if you want to if we move on to the wallpapers and style as far as i know in the first build there were a lot of changes there were a lot, a lot of things which were not present but in this latest version in this version which i'm making this video on this is super good it also includes all the android 13 features you can see the monet theming it has almost all the new changes in android 13 we have more wallpaper colors we have more basic colors i made a video on android 13 updates like beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 what are the changes have been included all those things so you can check out that if you want to the fingerprint option is also there but unfortunately no face unlock and no app lock unfortunately have been added but in the upcoming updates we might see those things but as i just mentioned in the initial update it is what we have i think so as far as i know with when android 12 was released face unlock was released maybe after two or three months as that was uh, something whole whole ui revamped with android 12 a lot of new changes were there so that might be the reason but in this case this should not be the thing we have android 13 which is almost same as android 13 android 12 so let's see what's gonna happen other than else you can see all the changes which i've already shown you these are the things that we have in ROS latest version this official version is available for many devices by the way let me tell you one more thing let me confirm with you one more thing this version is in beta stage so it's not stable yet according to them so if you are able to if you want to install this thing make sure to keep this thing in your mind that this is a beta version so if you want to wait for stable 
disable version you can if you still want to install this thing link is already there this is all thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye